Hello, Thumpers and Super Friends. Welcome to another trailer reaction from Hyper RPG. This panel is at Too Sexy Tonight. Ah! I'm Adam Ooh. Lavigan. I'm joined here with Mr. Lucas Eubank. That is my name. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron Rice. Hey, I'm wearing my dope hat. I'm wearing a pink sweater. Let me hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> Sorry, I'm not Hector. Let, Let me hear know. about it. Let him know. Tell me I'm stupid. Let me hear about it. Oh my God. <laughs> and of course, why do you end... come to this channel? It's not for me. Let oh me hear my about God. it. Of course, at the very end, my partner in crime and all this, Mr. Augustine Rios. I can't top that, so I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> oh, boy. We are here to do a trailer reaction for the hotly anticipated movie, Thor Ragnarok, oh from director Taika Waititi. I'm very excited for this movie. Taika Waititi mm -hmm. is a great director. Mm -hmm. What We Do in the Shadows was a movie I did not discover until last year. I can't believe it took me that long. That movie is fucking hilarious. Great movie. Movie. So I, going into the Thor movie, the first movie I thought was good. Second movie, did not like it at all. Um, I thought it was a real fest. It was a turd. It was a it turd. Was a it turd. was a real turd. Uh, yeah. Kenneth Branagh's movie is not perfect, but I think it's so far the best Thor movie we've had. Uh, this Thor Ragnarok movie, I think bringing Taika Waititi and doing a comedic, not a comedy, but doing something that's a little bit more lighter in tone and a little more comedy driven, I think is something that... It's going to be really interesting to see, and I'm glad they're just doing something different. Sure. Uh, I feel like I have sort of an interesting perspective on this in that I like both the okay. Thor movies. What? I like both of them. I know. I get a lot of hate for it. <laughs> uh, I um, they're, pr they're by no means my favorite Marvel movies. In fact, they're probably both on the bottom of the list going right. one and two in order. Right. Uh, I don't know what a Ragnarok is, um, <laughs> but I do. I love. I love all the Marvel cartoons. I love all the Marvel uh -huh, movies, uh -huh. and I am one of the few people that like both Thor movies. I'm also one of the few people that I love Norse mythology. I know a lot about mm. Norse mythology, and I still forgive like this Thor movie because I don't think it's the same at all. Right. Yeah. And I appreciate that it gets people into Norse mythology. I like both the movies. I'll, I can talk about that offline. Uh -huh, if you guys have uh -huh, problems uh -huh. with that, we can talk about that offline. Just, but just anyway, tweet. Just tweet at you. Just tweet. Very excited tweet for this trailer. <laughs> I think it can only get better. <laughs> <laughs> um, as for me, yeah, I'm not a fan of the first two Thor movies. I think they're actually the worst films of the Marvel Universe. Uh, that's not to say that they are bad. I think Marvel is not a, uh, is not capable of making anything below a C grade. Um, both those movies get Cs. As a perfect example, when we did the Marvel Marathon, it was like a year ago, two yeah, years ago now. Ago. A year ago. Um, year, they were, yeah. they oh bottomed out God. the list, right? Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I was original. Well, they bottomed out the list, and also I think the first Thor fell somewhere in the middle, but Thor 2 bottomed out yeah, everywhere yeah um and usually when i say i don't like the Thor movies people go what about iron man 2 iron man 2 is bad but it's got some goopy shit that makes it watchable to me <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Give me justin my, hammer's great give me my butt um <laughs> it's so weird Whereas the two thor movies i find very boring but uh the funny thing was i signed up to only do the first thor movie and then i got put on to do thor 2 because no one would sign up for it <laughs> yeah nobody and if you go back and watch that video it's the only video where me and april the other guests stayed as the three guys left yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was Which a bad one. Kind of tells he's you where third. Yeah, it tells you where Thor two uh, sits in the pantheon. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this. The cast, uh, the writer and director. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm so I'm 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 looking forward to it. This might be a case where a third in the series is the best one of the series. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What I'm concerned about is such a drastic tone change. Because I saw Hunt for the Wilder People. I saw uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Those movies, absolutely incredible. Taika Waititi is dope. Yeah. When, and, and I was at the Comic-Con panel when all this That's footage right. showed up. That's right. So when I saw this stuff, I saw neon 80s. I saw a lot of, a lot of um, what's it called, uh, concept art. They didn't mm. really show any footage. They showed concept art. And what I saw was mainly uh, Hulk fighting Thor in a concept drawing. Um, so it's just going to be interesting. World War Hulk and Planet Hulk are some of my favorite comics. And so I, I, I kind of want them to do them in their own solo movies, but... If they do this well, like if they in incorporate Planet Hulk and Wor World War Hulk stuff in this, mm -hmm. maybe I might like it. I don't know, because yeah. Planet Hulk stuff is really, really dope. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I don't know how they're going to incorporate this. It's just a huge question mark for me. Yeah. And I also did not like Thor 2, by the way. That movie was garbage. <laughs> Thor 1, I tried to rewatch it on TV the other day. It does not hold up. Yeah. It does it feels not like hold he, up It whatsoever. feels like he is protecting a, a block on the back lot of a studio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, he really With does. With his fake hair. He really does, yeah. We, we can yeah. talk offline about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, or just tweet at us. Just tweet at us. All right, shall we do this? What you call magic, other people call, I, I drew in your book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. You drew circles. <laughs> <laughs> Great line. Great All line. Right. Here we go. All right, here we go. Trailer for Thor Ragnarok. That's uncomfortable. Well, I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? 
<laughs> well, oh, that's shit. a long story. Okay, oh, Planchette, straight shit. out of the craft. I wish they would have done What's that. What's up, Oh, Zephyrin? shit! Oh! oh. <laughs> so metal. <laughs> so metal, <laughs> that's not. Asgard is dead. Hi there. Valkyrie. What have you brought today? Tell me. <laughs> A contender. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. Oh, no, I that I know. That long hair. Look at his hair. No, nope. yeah. all the hair is gorgeous in this movie. Yeah, he gets a haircut. Oh, shit. Looking good, my man. You're looking so, it's so no, cow. Is the Hulk going to come out? Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, no. no. Helmet. Expecting that whatsoever. I love it. It treated it like a ride. Fuckers threw yeah. Led Zeppelin in there and got me. Remember Damn when it. we were talking about that, Adam? How we needed Led Zeppelin in this movie? We were talking about that a really long time ago. Damn. The song I wanted was a song Achilles Hill by Led Zeppelin. Oh, okay. But this one I'll works just I'll as well. It. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. This uh, is uh, uh this is an interesting trailer because it doesn't play out like a normal trailer would. No. I mean, we get the backstory of rag of of kind of what Hella ha what, what Hella does to Asgard and how it mm -hmm. gets destroyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of jumps in to what the Ragnarok story will kind of be. Um, that's different. That's I, I'm curious how that's going to actually play out in the context of the movie itself. Right. If this whole right. scene, if this whole destruction of Asgard will be a a backstory, and we meet we meet Thor as he crash lands on this planet, yeah, or, right, or what's going right. to happen. Really interesting take. Uh, the visuals are, are great. Yeah. Some Crazy. of the visual effects are still in progress. Mm -hmm. You can yep. tell mostly with the ship stuff and the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you do look a lot of like the practical stuff, it looks great. Yeah. Um, Heimdall with the long hair. Looks it's like Zelda be looking ass. sexy as fuck in this movie. What Damn. Is that? I love I love the helmets. They're different. Loki's helmet's different. It reveals like it reveals his head. This helmet that Thor wears is dope. I. I didn't grow up reading a lot of Thor comics, but the most one of the most iconic things about Thor, aside from Mjolnir, is the helmet. Right. Yeah. He's right. never the had it in the Marvel helmet. Cinematic yeah. Universe. Right. Like, I get it. Go Chris Hemsworth got some sexy ass gold locks, but give me the helmet. But Thor, but Hulk coming out of this with the pauldron on. Holy so, Christ! So that costume that he wears is what he wears in the Planet Hulk and World War Hulk, Hulk series. Uh, he's known as the Green Scar. I want. I want to know if they're gonna bring him on as the Green Scar. This is just. This brings up so many questions. Right. Uh, but it it puts forth so many good things too. I didn't expect the '80s thing to work. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect this tone change to be this drastic. Yeah. But it fucking works. Well, I think a big part for me. Oh, this is. I guess I'll put it this way. This is the Thor movie I've wanted. Right. Uh -huh. I mean, we'll see if the trailers end up being a lie or right. anything like right. that. But right. it's like my favorite. Like I love the Thor comics, but I also what I love about Thor is that Jack Kirby, Walt Simons, and stuff that, frankly, is so silly and so right. goofy and dumb, but it really embraces it. It's right. like heavy metal me mixed with like magic, and he turns into frogs, and it's that Kirby <laughs> weird <laughs> stuff. And that's why I always wanted out of the Thor movies. Yeah. So that's why like the first two were so disappointing to me. Is like they felt like simultaneously like serious in a way but yet small right, but right. not like in the right and like right. that was the thing i always wanted out of the thorn movies were like i was like no nah, embrace your heavy metal goopiness That's and i feel I'm like saying. this has done it yeah. it seems to have done it like these shots right here i feel like really slow motion like, oh, just like like I, that's a Dio cover. <laughs> I feel like I feel like any one of these images could be could be airbrushed on the side of a van. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. that van could be bumping some Led Zeppelin. It would be it would fit absolutely beautifully. I think we talked about that in other stuff we were, we were yeah. talking yeah. about, Adam, how we wanted it to feel like like those old school vans that are super right. metal that have shit like these Amazon women mm. like all airbrushed on them or wizards or like panthers or something. Yep. I will say for a teaser trailer, it's probably one of my favorite Marvel teaser trailers because 
it does give you some context, but generally you kind of don't know what's happening. Really? Well, this yeah. is this is the thing that grabbed me. Is like, so what? The things we do know about this movie, we know it's like a it's going to be a buddy road movie with the Hulk and Thor. Right. Yeah. This is where we end this trailer, which makes me think so much of this trailer. He has long hair, and we see yeah. it here short. Right. I'm thinking we're only seeing the first third of this movie. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Maybe yeah. some of the battle stuff with Loki mm-hmm. and Heimdall. Maybe that's in the latter half. But I feel like we're seeing all the first thirty minutes. Oh yeah. yeah. That's if, it. They, if they just showed us her crushing Mjolnir and then that's act two or three, then yeah. they've ruined the movie for I, I really think that we're only seeing the first I, bit of uh, this yeah, movie. I think yeah. we're only seeing the, I, I would love if at when they're fi- flying towards each other, if they hugged. Yeah. Or if like <laughs> if like if Thor <laughs> if Thor just like hugged him and then Hulk's still trying to rage but he's like so happy. Oh, My friend. <laughs> I, I definitely think this is a step in the right direction for Thor totally. in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. I mean I like the first two and I mean I love the first one without context of what the the Marvel universe could be mm-hmm. uh, cinematically because there was no Avengers yet right. there was no mm-hmm. Ant Man there was no Guardians of the Galaxy I thought it was very fun and really like a movie like Guardians of the Galaxy up that for me mm-hmm. uh, and this is like comparable to I mean like fucking Norse mythology meets outer space like I, this is like Jesus Christ goes to a <laughs> rave this is yeah. just the coolest <laughs> and then hands out ex- Hands out ex- shit hands out together. Ecstasy in his vest and like glow, like glows. This is so crazy. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Have fun. Have fun. I'm have so fun. on board with this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there were there were a few. So there were a few people on, on Twitter sending me comments, and I tried to ignore as many of them as I could because I didn't want to get spoiled by anything. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Some people were saying that that it felt very Guardians of the Galaxy to me, and I feel like, not that it's really a counter argument. But if we're going to go into the ridiculousness of space, Mm -hmm. something that we don't have any idea like what it is, and it's a comic book world and it's all fantasy, if 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 space is going to be the part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe where we have a lot of levity and 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 we kind Mm -hmm. of embrace the cheese Mm -hmm. and the comedy of it, then Thor would fit into that because it is a whole other dimension, a whole other world. He's on other planets, so it's like if Guardians and Thor are going to be the movies that are kind of more in a similar tone because they're in outer space. I'm fine with that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, I mean, and I think we needed a change for Thor. Absolutely, they, those two those two properties have to meet up eventually. Like right. this needs to like maybe bridge the gap. Sure. You know what I mean? Well, it's I think totally that's totally. also I think yeah. that's also the thing is like I think uh, I hear that when people say that I think it's honestly that's seventies and eighties Marvel comics. Mm-hmm. Like seventies and eighties Marvel comics right. is not Venom and Gambit right. and those guys. Seventies and eighties Marvel comics is like. Silly Guardians of the Galaxy. It's this. It's Howard the Duck. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. Man Thing, but Man Thing is like dealing with like oh, you know, like all these like weird cosmic heady stuff. Because yeah. y'all, if you've never read uh, Marvel, the uh, what was that book called? It's like that book that's all about the behind the scenes of Marvel comics. Y'all, some of those people were taking a lot of drugs oh, in the yeah. 70s <laughs> yeah, and really were. writing that shit yeah, into their were. comics. Yeah, yeah. So this to me, like this to me, this feels like the Marvel that I like really love is like this big Absolutely. goofy silliness. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. And let us not also forget how Doctor Strange ended. Dr. Right. Strange yeah, he's going to play a part uh, in this. He's interviewing Thor about his brother. Right. And I want to see how those two connect. I think I think Doctor Strange was kind of like I think Doctor Strange was the bridger. Yeah. Because Doctor Strange uh, we saw the Rainbow Bridge destroyed. We saw all this stuff happen. And now Doctor Strange is going to be the person to kind of bring us in and out of these other dimensions and kind of shift the tone of like right. the very grounded previous first half of the Marvel Cinematic Universe we've seen. This is nothing but good stuff. I fucking love it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I'm super hard. excited for it. you know, Smart. when when they announced Taika Waititi, I was excited for it, but I was also like, it's another Thor movie. Thor hasn't been that great. I'll wait for the preview. I like the preview. Like, vis- visual effects stuff aside, like, overall, like, it's a good trailer. Yeah. And I think they yeah. really hit the tone well. I, agree. Well, I think those I two agree. those two little teasers that, uh, not teasers for the movie, but, like, those two little shorts that Taika Waititi had made. Yeah. With Kroon Let's Zesler talk about those. Gave me a lot of hope, because I remember when they first announced the movie before uh, he came on, when it was, like, Thor Ragnarok, everyone was like, Oh, here's the deep, dark, serious Thor movie because Ragnarok right, for those right. who know is like totally the end of the Norse yeah. world, like right. the end of it. So when they th- announced the title, I think a lot of people were like, "Oh, here's this deep, dark movie right before uh, Infinity War." Right. And I was like, "Oh, don't do that." And then when they brought in Taika and then did these two shorts, I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be silly. Great, yeah. great, yeah. good, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah." I love it. I, I I was also curious how they were going to because what we were presented with with those shorts was so different. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Is this just?" Like a one-off, or is this the tone? Let's of the be movie? real. It was what we do in the shadows in the Marvel universe. <laughs> it was yeah. awesome. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. It was I, I loved it. And yeah, you get a guy like Taika Waititi. You can expect this is you. This is what you I would have uh, would have expected. Mm-hmm. So I'm not let down by this. This is literally. I was like, well, you're gonna get him. This is the movie. Beautiful. So that's I'm excited for it. I'm super uh, excited. Yeah, uh, that's great. I cannot wait to see it. 
Guys, let us know in the comments below what you thought about this first teaser trailer for Thor Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. We gotta wait like six more months for this damn movie. Yeah, I can wait. That's an interesting thing to talk about too. This is the first time we're getting three Marvel movies in one year. It is. It is. Guardians, Spider Man, and this. Yes. Yes. Three. Well, I I would say. Two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. Yeah, well, it's going to be interesting <laughs> because there are two movies set in space in, in the deep realm of space that are going to be more lighthearted in tone, and then a Spider Man movie, which is going to deal with a younger, you, more youthful Spider Man that yeah. will also kind of have that because of the fact that he is a much younger character. So. Which is also sure. going to deal far more with the fallout of Civil War. Exactly. Got Robert Downey Jr. Exactly. Exactly. exactly, exactly. So it's going to be an interesting year for these Marvel movies. I'm curious to see how they kind of play out and how they interconnect with the bigger universe. And like you guys were saying, whether or not Guardians and Thor. At some point, will intersect. That that could be really cool. Mm -hmm. So Ugh. we'll see. Maybe Thor, is the, Thor and Hulk are the reason the Guardians come to Earth to to fight in the Infinity War. Very possible. Yeah. Well, we saw that Very image possible. in that in that Marvel thing of Thor with uh, Rocket Thor with Raccoon. Rocket. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Awesome. Did we just unlock awesome. something? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe right here. YouTube.com slash HyperRPG. Check out all the live content that we're doing on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash HyperRPG. Lucas, where can everybody find you on the interwebs? You can find me on Twitter at Lucas Eusbank. That's L-U-C-A-S-E-U-S-P-A-N-K. <laughs> Never gets old. Uh, I'm Kevin Rice. You can find me on Twitter at Jurassic Alien. That's the movie Jurassic Park and the movie Alien smushed together into a lovely cookie crumble. Tell me what you think of my hat and my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's dope. Uh, you can find me everywhere at L underscore Santo Taco. And you just find me at Adam Havoc. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next reaction.